All right, let's see if we can get out of here, man. Now, for today, I'm going to pick six dangerous habits, six dangerous driving habits that you will frequently see on the roads in Vietnam and in Hanoi in particular. So, <clears throat> They are as follows, the pothole swerve, like this, whoosh. You see, we have these um, manhole covers or these steel plates in the road and or even potholes. And people will tend to not drive over them like this. I'm just driving over it. They will swerve, quickly dodge to avoid them, even though they're not that big of a bump. It's just out of habit. People will come up to it and they'll suddenly swerve. And for some reason, people don't look ahead, usually to avoid them. They only really pay attention to what's about two seconds in front of them. So they only see it about there. That's when they see it. And then they dodge it, kind of at the last minute. So the danger is, is that you'll be coming up from behind and then they will suddenly swerve and cut out your front wheel. Or they'll be, they'll be coming kind of at you and they will dodge the pothole or the, the manhole cover, and they will come into your lane of traffic. You're, you're uh, yeah, you'll narrowly miss them. You might even almost run into them. So this is a common thing because people just don't really, like I said, they don't really pay attention to what's ahead of them until it's the last moment. And then when they dodge, they just assume that nobody exists to the right or to the left. You know, I'm the only person on the road. If I can't see it in my direct vision, it's not there. It doesn't even exist in space and time. At least that's the thinking. So what, I, the, the, what you have to do is you need to pay attention to what's going on, not only in front of you, but also in front of the person that's ahead of you. So that as you come up upon them, you'll be able to predict if they're going to suddenly dodge or swerve to avoid uh, a manhole cover like this one or a pothole. Number two is texting while driving. You know, people use the phone sometimes on a mount just to kind of select a destination or maybe pick up a phone call. But I've seen people with it out, phone in front of them, looking down, fiddling through menus, sending text messages, typing a text message. And I see this every day. So you need to be aware of sometimes people are not paying attention. Well, I'm well, sometimes I'm sometimes people aren't paying attention. Usually people aren't paying attention. But sometimes the reason that they're not paying attention is because they're looking at their cell phone. Because you know, you have to send that text message and you you couldn't dare stop and pull over to the side of the road to send it, because that would waste about you know, 15 to 20 seconds of your life. It's much better, more efficient to put your life at risk by texting while driving than to waste 20 seconds of your life by stopping on the side of the road to text. You know, that's that's the, uh, the thinking anyways. Uh, so you're gonna see a lot of texting while driving. Uh, be aware, someone whips out their phone. I know you wanna just flip it out of their hands. I have not done that, although I have heard of people doing that. But if you, if you chew them out, like I will sometimes say in Vietnamese, don't look at your phone or stop doing that. And they are usually surprised because, I mean, why would you tell me off for, for texting and not looking at the road while I'm driving? You know, it's the most normal thing in the world. But people kind of know they shouldn't, like this, this, this genius right there who cut across in front of me, crossing a road, not looking, just texting while driving. That that's really annoying and I, I so badly want to follow him and just kind of flip the phone out of his hands. But it doesn't matter because he, he would just get angry and then he would pick the phone up and he would drive off and then whip it out and start texting while driving all over again. So you're, you're not going to change people's way of driving. It's just not going to happen. Hmm, that guy's smoking blue. Let's smell the oil. Now, number three, red light run people will just go through the red light. Mostly motorcycles, about 20 to 30% on any given light will just go straight through it. And they won't look because they want you to look. And I've, you know, I don't really mind people going through a red light as long as there's no traffic going through the green. 
but people will go through the red while there's traffic in the green and they will actually block the, the green light traffic slow it down get right in the way and they're trying to save time but what happens is you see them trying to weave their way through the red light and then finally the light turns green and you accelerate and you go right past him you know he went through the red light trying to save time but he ended up not really saving any time at all you know and it's also very dangerous but you're going to see that so when you go through a green light look sweep left to right to make sure some genius isn't just going straight through the red light without even looking or slowing down because that will happen i guarantee it and then when you honk your horn and shout at him he will look up and have this genuine look of surprise of like oh my goodness why is this guy going through the green light you know when it's green for him doesn't he know i need to go through the red light because i have to save 15 seconds of time man you're just so inconsiderate so don't be surprised if people are shocked if you nearly plow into them because you were going through a green light and he was going through a red okay number four left hand corner cut this is where a person is going on a street and they go to an intersection and they turn left to make a left hand turn 90 degrees into the intersection but what happens is after they make that left hand turn they will cut the corner and they will end up going on the new road on the left turn on the wrong side like they'll do this left hand turn and then they will end up on the wrong side of the road and they'll just keep going like they don't even realize it and then maybe they'll eventually slowly come to the right side like i've just done so let me show you again left hand corner cut well i can't do it here but i would make a left hand turn and then i'm turning and then i end up completely on the wrong side of the road and this guy's coming at me oh crap oh i'm on the wrong side people will do that all the time every time there's either a broad sweeping left hand turn or even a left hand turn at an intersection and they will end up see he was on my side he was shocked that i gave him the horn they will end up on the wrong side of the road doing a left hand turn so here's how you deal with it when you're going around a right hand turn like this one right here the oncoming traffic may very well be completely coming on the, the my side of the road so when you go around a blind right hand turn or a tight left hand right hand turn at an intersection don't be surprised if someone's coming precisely the wrong way down the road straight at you be looking ahead up into the corner and be mentally prepared for someone to come straight at you and then what they will do is when they see that you're on the correct side of the road and they are on the wrong side of the road they will not go back to their own side they will actually cut even further up on the side of the road right here uh, on the wrong completely on the wrong side so you will have to pass them on the left and they will come in completely on the wrong side at the edge of the road on the extreme right end side of the road you just have to be prepared for that and then let them do it because if you try to go on your side of the road and make them go on their side of the road you will just about have an accident because they're not expecting that. They will genuinely be confused. Why are you on your side of the road? Don't you understand that the entire road is for me to drive wherever I want like this? Yeah. So just be aware of that. Be careful on your right-hand turns. Speaking of right-hand turns, number five is the right turn corner or the, or the, the right-hand pullout. What I mean is, let's say, you're going on a road here and then you come to a, an intersection a four-way where there's a road that comes across the guy comes in and he wants to turn right and kind of go the same direction as you are as they come up to the road and to turn right they will not look over their shoulder at the oncoming traffic they will pull straight out and turn right and merge they will not slow down and they will not look and if they pull out right here you better jack on the brakes and honk the horn okay like me i'm gonna do it the way i would do it. i look left and then i come out on the road people will not look left they will just pull straight out they will pull straight out um and so the yeah the right turn pull out where come, someone comes from the right side and they turning right they will pull straight out into traffic without slowing down or looking so 
when someone is coming to an intersection from the right side, expect them to come out. You need to be scanning the sides of the road continuously and you need to assume that the safe thing they should do, which would yeah, be safer, but it would cost them a tiny bit of time, like three to five seconds. That's something they will not do because saving three to five seconds of time is more important than avoiding an accident. You know, that's how, that's how the thinking goes. So you have to be ready when someone comes from the right side, if they're gonna turn right and kind of merge with traffic, they're gonna come straight out and they're not gonna slow down. You just gotta be ready for it at any time. Now, number six is what I call formation flying. Last thing. This is where people will be on motorcycles or scooters and they will drive next to each other like they're flying in formation. With two people on a wide road, it's not a big deal. But when you have two people on a road like this or narrower, and they will do this two or three across, block almost the entire road going at about 10 miles an hour and talking together. Because again, my conversation while I'm driving is more important than people being able to, I don't know, get around me on, on, a, on a road, you know? So what you have to do is you have to just, as you come up to a formation group, give them a bit of a honk, and then wait as they will slowly kind of go into single file. It'll take 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, and eventually they'll kind of let you pass, usually. And if they don't, honk a bit more, get closer, rev the engine, and it should they should move out of the way. All right, so I hope these six things, pothole swerve, texting while driving, led, sorry, red light run through, left corner cut, right turn pull out, and formation flying. Six dangerous habits that you will see on the road every single day. Watch out for them and be prepared. And as always, remember, Pay attention out there because nobody else is.